Welcome to This Week in Crazy America with Reese Hancock. This week we have Florida's suitcase murderess, a hospital arsonist, Santa Monica's flying jeep, and an ex-cop turned serial burglar. Now, if you're at all claustrophobic, then the sickening tale of the suitcase murderess in Florida must have sent a chill down your spine. It certainly sounds like a pretty horrific way to go. And it was, by some distance, Crazy America's top trending story last week. Of course, suspect Sarah Boone of Winter Park near Orlando claims it was all just a game and that she and Bo Jorge Torres Jr. were simply playing around with their luggage while having a few drinks. Uh, and then uh, he got zipped up into a suitcase. But cops aren't buying it. And so it looks like she may have to get used to uh, spending some time in her own confined space very soon. So staying in the Sunshine State, in our next story, we found another anguished person in a confined space. This time it was hospital patient John King, and he simply got pissed off with waiting around for a nurse to come and attend to his needs. So guess what? The septuagenarian set his bed in a new Smyrna Beach facility on fire, as one does, to try and attract some attention. It sure works, though perhaps too well, as King is now facing a felony arson rap. Out west in Arizona, we were reminded once again that if you're an all or nothing guy, kind of guy, it may be best to stick at nothing. Jackson, Bradley, Bra Jackson Brady Hanley Jr had been doing so well after four months off the booze that he thought he would celebrate. With a drink, of course. Definitely a bad idea. After a tipple or ten, the thought entered his drink-addled brain to help himself to a new motorcycle from a Kawasaki showroom. You won't be surprised to know that little escapade didn't end very well. So meanwhile, over in Santa Monica, Authorities are still looking into whether the demon drink or some other substance was involved in the shocking case of a young man whose Jeep crashed off a six-story parking garage. Apparently, two passengers managed to get out of the vehicle just in time before it hurtled off the edge of the building in the wee hours of the morning. Now, time will tell what the investigation throws up, but one thing is for sure. Those 15 mile per for our speed limits in parking garages are there for a reason, especially when you're on the roof. So finally, to wrap up the week, the recurring theme of Crazy America are all those folks that just don't learn their lesson. And by any standard then, the behavior of former sheriff's deputy turned burglar, Janelle Guerrica, is quite staggering. Already facing one charge of burglary, the ex-cop's lawyers had persuaded a judge to let her out on bail. Of course, she used that opportunity to break and enter once again. See you same time, same place next week. Goodbye. Well, we used to know that they the whole family went crazy.